Good morning, everyone. Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. You know, Dave, is it Friday? It's Friday. <clears throat> I still got to work today, but it's Friday, right? Um, I am currently listening to my Porter Wagner collection. This is a three CD set of six of his albums. On here you have the album from 1966, Confessions of a Broken Man. Um, Soul of a Convict from 1966. Uh, the Cold Hard Facts of Life from 1967. The Bottom of the Bottle from 1968. The Carroll County Accident from 69, that's a personal favorite. And Down in the Alley from 1970. Now folks, listen. This is real country music. If you are offended by real country music, don't listen to this. Um, these are songs about alcoholism, about killing people, about infidelity, about homicide, about prison. This is some serious stuff. But if you are into hardcore country, check out Porter Wagner. But... That is not why I'm here this morning. I am here to celebrate Bill over at the Vinyl Verse. He has reached 700 subs in about two years. Congratulations, Bill. Um, if you have not checked out Bill over at the Vinyl Verse, definitely go sub to him. He is awesome. I love his taste in music. He, um, he and I share a love of the monkeys and especially Michael Nesmith. Um, he likes the Moody Blues, which I really dig. Uh, he loves ELO and uh, King Crimson. Um, plus, he's a huge jazz guy. And, uh, you know, watching his videos, I realized, crap, there's a lot of jazz albums I got to get. Um, so he's just a really cool guy. Real, Bill's real mellow in front of the camera, but he's really knowledgeable. Um, and uh, definitely, definitely cool guy. So congratulations, Bill, on your on your 700 subs, and I know you're going to get so many more. Um, and uh, I heard him talking about getting together with people on the VC, like actually, um, you know, getting together and hanging out. And I'm like, ooh, that'd be cool. So listen, if Bill is out ever in the Poughkeepsie, New York area, or if anybody out there in the VC is in the Hudson Valley, Poughkeepsie, New York area, give me a shout and uh, let's get together. I've got some cool record stores around here we can go look at. All right, so first question. How did I discover the VC and how long have I been in the VC? Well, um, I started making videos in the summer of uh, 2019. Um, so I, I had no intention of doing music videos like this. I didn't even know who the VC, what, who the VC was. I didn't even know there was a VC. Um, I actually, my first two videos were just me singing and playing the guitar. So I think I did a John Denver song and uh, I did a Garth Brooks song on my guitar. And that was gonna be it. Um, just, you know, post a couple songs, see what people thought and you know, it is what it is. And then I just started kind of thumbing around on YouTube and I found, you know, cause I'm interested in music and records and CDs and cassettes. And you know, I, I'm seeing these videos of, uh, guys and gals talking about their music collections, their record collections, showing off their turntables and cassette players. I'm like, this is really cool. And they're using this term VC. I'm like, what is a VC? And then finally, you know, I'm looking up, I'm reading, you know, comments and things and find out it's the vinyl community. I didn't even realize there was a vinyl community. So I started making videos because I'm like, you know what? I like, I like music too. And, and uh, I kind of had this thought with, of, you know, I'm just gonna set my camera up, record, and uh, you know, see what happens. If I've got two people watching, awesome. If I've got 40 people watching, whatever. And uh, you know, more and more people started subscribing to my channel and kind of liking what I was doing. And uh, suddenly, I was a member of the VC. <clears throat> what funny story though? I had no idea what VCLT was for a long time, and because uh, everybody would be posting, "Oh, I got VCLT," and I'm like. What the heck is VCLT? So I have to look that up, Vinyl Community Love Train. I'm like, okay. So um, 
that was something I had to learn along the way too. But the VC is so cool. I'm so uh, proud to be a member. I've met so many cool people. Um, I've learned so much about music just, you know, in the last year. Um, I thought I knew a lot about music, but uh, I didn't realize that there was so much more to learn until I started watching these cool videos and meeting these cool people. So um, that's my story about the VC. And uh, listen, I'm going to keep making videos. Um, I think I'm around 240 subs and I'm that that's awesome. I just can't believe that there are 240 people who are into what I'm doing. So um, I'm going to keep making videos. Do you have a Paul Stanley coaster? I do. All right, anyway, let's get back to the question. So that was question one. Question two, an album or two or three that you picked up um, by seeing it in a VC video. Well, since this is a video about Bill at the vinyl verse, I gotta show you a band that he got me into. Renaissance, Scheherazade and other stories. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. I had heard of Renaissance, but Bill talked about them a couple weeks ago, I want to say. And I'm like, okay, if Bill likes them, I got to go check them out. Um, how would I describe Renaissance? Okay, here's how I would describe them. If you took the second side of Led Zeppelin 3, all the folk songs, and put it in a blender with um, Yes, Close to the Edge, and mix it up, you'd get Renaissance. Um, so it's got that folk element with a kind of a proggy feel to it. Um, female vocals. I can't remember what her name is. Um, just beautiful, beautiful music with a proggy edge. I love it. Thank you, Bill, for, um, you know, recommending these guys. And definitely, this is the only Renaissance I have. I'm new to the Renaissance party, uh, but I will definitely be listening to more of them. Um, he said to start with this album. I think he talked about their first album as well. I don't have that. But definitely check out Scheherazade and other stories. Now for something completely different. There's a guy named Pete Pardo um, over at a channel called Sea of Tranquility. And uh, really cool guy. He does um, he does reviews of a lot of like uh, hard rock and heavy metal. Where he'll literally like take the whole discography and talk about them. And he has the actual CDs to show. It's amazing. Um, but he did a video on this band called Blood Incantation. And I really respect his opinion. And I'm like, I've never heard of these guys before. And he was talking about them and it sounded like really cool stuff. So I listened to their music and I was like, wow, these guys are awesome. So I picked up the album. This is uh, the band Blood Incantation. This album is called History. Hidden History of the Human Race. And uh, this came out... You know you're getting old when you can't see the date. I think it was only in the last couple years. I can't see the date. Um, but who, what is Blood Incantation? They're like... Well, they are. They're death metal, but with a proggy edge to them. Very cool stuff. I love the subject matter. The songs, Slave Species of the Gods, The Giza Power Plant, Inner Paths, Awakening. Um, they have like an ancient alien theme to their music. Very proggy, uh, heavy, heavy death metal. Love it. These guys are awesome. So thank you, Pete Pardo, for uh, recommending these guys. Uh, definitely have to pick this up. I'm still looking for the date. Um, I don't know. The only thing I don't like about these guys is I can't, I, can't, I don't like their logo because I that's supposed to say blood incantation, but it just looks like a bunch of scribbles to me. So that's the only thing, that's the only negative to this, guy, this, this band, but the music is awesome. If you're into death metal and prog, definitely check them out. Um, another uh, band that I saw on a uh, video. Now, I was already into this band from a kid, as a kid, but um, Vinyl Richie did a video a few weeks back on um, the Dead Kennedys. And uh, I remember him kind of piggybacking on a video that I did about the Dead Kennedys. And he wrote back, hey, great video. I'm going to do a video as well. So he did. I checked out his video and it kind of spurred me into like, hey, you know what? 
I need to get a Dead Kennedys album. So Vinyl Richie, I picked up Plastic Surgery Disasters, which happens to be my favorite Dead Kennedys record. This is an original pressing on Alternative Tentacles Records. This also has, and I'm not gonna take it out right now, but this also has the booklet that comes with it. Actually, you know what, I'll pull it out. Hey, we're talking about records, let's pull it out, right? It comes with the booklet of all of the um, collage photos. And on the back of the booklet has the lyrics. But what I thought was cool about this, and Vinyl Richie, you can let me know if you have this in your plastic surgery disasters. I have uh, an alternative tentacles order form. And I think I read somewhere that that's kind of like a rare thing to have. Uh, I don't know, let me know. But I thought that that was pretty cool. So listen, I have all the Dead Kennedys albums on CD, but this was my first one to have back on vinyl. I had it as a kid. Um, so thank you to Vinyl Richie for showing that and kind of encouraging me to bite the bullet and start building my Dead Kennedys vinyl collection. If you've never heard the Dead Kennedys, I would say start with this album. I love this album, Plastic Surgery Disasters. I've talked about it before. Um, uh, it's just an awesome album. Uh, some of my favorite songs are over on here, Moon Over Marin and Government Flu and um, Forest Fire. It's just an awesome album. Okay, now, next. I feel like I'm just rambling. That was question two. Oh, that was only question two, okay. Wow, how long is this video so far? 12 minutes, oh my gosh. All right, uh, question three. Favorite album of mine? Well, it was between two. It was between Johnny Cash, Hello, I'm Johnny Cash, which is my absolute favorite Johnny Cash album, and Frank Sinatra, Watertown, which is my favorite Frank Sinatra album. Um, and those are two of my favorite albums in my collection. And I ended up going with this one, Frank Sinatra, Watertown. I've talked about this album before. This is a later, this is my favorite Frank Sinatra album and happens to be, I guess, my favorite album in my collection. I just love this album. This is a later album by Frank Sinatra in the 70s. Um, it's a concept record written by Bob Gaudio. Uh, I, I hope that's how you pronounce his name. He's from the Four Seasons. But he wrote this song cycle for Frank Sinatra to sing called Watertown. And I originally heard about this album uh, through um, reading something about Neil Peart online. And he used to take these motorcycle rides. And this is one of the albums that he listened to on his motorcycle ride. And I'm like, holy crap, Neil Peart listens to Frank Sinatra. So I checked this album out and I fell in love with it. Like I said, it's later Sinatra. So if you want a pristine, perfect vo vocal quality, you're not gonna get it. Uh, this is when his voice had aged a little bit but I wanna use the term seasoned. Um, I love his voice in this album. I love his voice in his later albums. Um, he's just got this quality to his voice that you really believe what he's singing. And um, this is a kick-ass album. And this happens to be a, my favorite album, my collection, I love it. Every time I put it on, I love to sing to the songs. It's very moving. Um, it's just a beautiful album. So if you're into Frank Sinatra and you've never heard Watertown, check it out. Check, check, check it out. All right, now, question four. This is the last question because I'm not going to do the whole Genesis bonus question. I like Genesis, but I just wanted to concentrate on these, these first four main questions. All right, so shout outs to people in the VC. Well, my first two I want to shout out to are Ron Haggerty over at Vinyl Sanctuary and Gregory Short. And here is the reason. They were two of the first um, to do videos about me promoting my channel. And I, I was like totally surprised. Like I didn't know who these guys were and suddenly they were talking about my channel. I was like, oh my God. So Ron Haggerty, very cool guy, into everything. He's got a lot of cool records. Um, 
his record collection keeps growing. I think he said he's up near 2,000 records now. He's into everything, you know, jazz and hard rock, heavy metal, Christian music, um, you know, 70s singer-songwriters. He's into everything. Gregory Short's another one. I love him. Um, I was glad to see that he was back making videos again. Uh, he's into everything as well. He, he A lot of times he'll show CDs, which is cool because I show CDs myself. Um, you know, Bill had done a video too, um, promoting, my, pro, promoting my channel back in the day too, so I thank Bill as well. Um, two other people, uh, a guy named G-Rock. If you look up G-Rock, I don't, and I don't even know what his name is. I was trying to look um, uh, on his channel to see if he had a name. He just goes by G-Rock. But he's a cool guy. He's really into heavy metal and, and hard rock. And his videos are cool because he doesn't really say anything. He'll just flip through CDs or records of that of, of what he has. So it's just it's kind of a cool take on the whole music video thing. Um, so definitely check out G Rock if you're into hard rock and heavy metal. And my last one is John Bellamy. If you've never listened or watched John Bellamy, he's a really cool, chill guy. Um, He's an Englishman. This is what he'll he'll tell you too in his first video. He's an Englishman living in Sweden, and uh, he's got a huge record collection into everything. Um, I've seen him do videos uh, on the new wave of British heavy metal. I've seen him do videos on jazz. I've seen him do videos on like proggy stuff, psych stuff. So he's into everything. Um, very cool guy. Very knowledgeable. Um, he did a video on uh, you know how he cleans his records and. Uh, one other guy I want to talk about is Elliot Crew over at Lost Dog Records. Cool guy. Um, what I like about Elliot is he's real chill. And uh, he'll always tell you what he's listening to in the background. Um, he's, he's got cool musical tastes. Um, he likes a lot of old time country, which I like. And, uh, you know, he's into everything though, too. You know, 70s rock and, uh, you know, the blues big blues guy. So definitely check out Elliot Crew's, uh, Elliot Crew over at Lost Dog Records. So those are my shout outs. Um, but listen, I want to congratulate Bill at the vinyl verse. Congratulations, 700 subs. I know you're going to get many more and everybody else. Listen, enjoy your Friday and this weekend. Listen to music.